Hello everyone, my name is Sila Richin and I am a data analyst. Today we want to teach you how to create a quiz using Kobo Toolbox. Um, before we start, I just want to show you some key formulas. Um, here we have the curly brackets and the dollar sign. This is very important when you're working with Kobo Toolbox. Um, don't cram this, just make sure you know this. Pay attention to this little sign here. And then see how we are using it down here. We are giving an if statement. Today we'll be using this a lot um, to create our um, quiz or test. You can call it whichever way you want to call it. So here we said if bracket open, this curl bracket here, dollar sign, and this curl bracket here, and X. X can be anything, okay? If all this is equals to Y, which can also be anything, then we want to see T, which can be anything. If not, we want to see I. It means that if this, all this formula here is equals to this Y, we want to see this thing, this T. If it's not equals to Y, then we want to see I. That's just the simple logic. Please don't um, get confused with this formula. Um, just follow, follow very carefully with me as we go into Kobo Toolbox, and I'll show you what this means. Right now, we are in Kobo Toolbox. Normally, you and I know that um, we have to start setting our questions. I've already taken you to the other process until we get here. Please go down below and click the link and watch our video for Kobo Toolbox for beginners. So we'll create our first question. Just simply come in here and we'll ask a question. Mm, we want to know what are some IT or data analyst okay and then we come here and then we want to select one and then we can see Excel that's the one and then two we can see Kukuya okay Kukuya we just want to set obvious answers for for the purpose of this video okay and I want you to pay attention with this XML value here make sure we put this on okay because we are going to use it here we put one this one is representing this Excel, and then we double click here, we put two. This two here is representing this Cocoyam, okay? And you and I know that the obvious answer here is Excel, right? Good. And then also we go to this small setting here and we click. We'll just have two questions to work on. And then here we decide to put this as Q1. Q1, okay? Q1. So this is our data column name here, Q1. It means this first question has the data color name to be Q1, okay? And we save. And then we go to the next question. We say, what are some of the agricultural tools? What are some of the agri, sorry, agriculture tools, okay? Let's put question sign. It's always good to put question sign where you create question. And then we want to put the answers. You select one. Here again, we put, Power BI. Okay, let's put capital I. And then here we put Cutlass. Okay, we all know that Cutlass is an agriculture tool to use and work. Okay, then here we put Power BI represent one, the XML represent one, and then Cutlass represents two. This is very important. We are going to be using this, okay? And here we know that the obvious answer is Cutlass, okay? And then we come also to the data column name here and we put Q2. Take note of all this, Q2, okay? Good. And then we save. Now, when we save, I want to create another question around here. Now, this is the question I want to start using our formula now, okay? So I'll come here and I put if statement and I put bracket open. And then I put a dollar sign and I put curry bracket, okay? Good. And I said, if this question, which is represented by Q1, Q1 here, control C, okay? And I put it inside this curry bracket here. I paste it and I close my curry bracket, it shift and then curry bracket, okay? If this question is equals to the right answer, which we have here as what? Excel, which is one, because we are looking for data analysis tools, right? 
analysis tool sorry data analysis tool not analysis analysis tool great okay if it is equals to one which is the correct answer okay perfect we want to have five marks given to that person if not we want to have zero and we close our bracket you see i repeat we said if we open our bracket call um, dollar sign curly bracket open data column name which is q1 curly bracket close if it is equals it means we are saying that if this question up here if the respondents choose one they should have five marks otherwise they should have zero marks that's what we are saying and then we are going to select calculate because we want it to be we want it to be giving us a calculation on that okay and then we save this and then we go to the next question okay and then we give it down oh, we go down here and we ask another question of if we said if bracket open um dollar sign curry bracket open if this question which is cure two the data column name is cure two here we copy control c and then we come and paste okay we paste it in here control v and curly bracket close okay if it is equals to let's look at the right answer again go down here if it is equals to one again the right answer here is, so the right answer here is two cutlass okay if it is equals to the right answer which is two then the person should have five marks if not the person should have zero marks okay and then we close our bracket and then we come down here again and then we say calculate okay i hope you're seeing this it's going good right it's going good it's going good great okay let's review and see what we have here let's review so after we have created these two questions and now we have to sum up these we have to sum these two calculations into one space we'll just create another option here and then we say that dollar sign we open our curry bracket and then we come and take this first calculation we go to the data column name and then we copy control c and then we come here because we want that those answers to be summing up down here okay and then we close our curry bracket and then we say plus we take another dollar sign we open our curry bracket again and then we come to this second and so we want that each time they are answering it should be summing up down here we are trying to summarize our calculation okay it's easy to do we close bracket okay and then right now we want it to be calculating okay we choose calculate that is it remember again we created if if statement here to say that if the right answer is choosing which is one we, we want to have five marks if not we want to have zero we came here we did the same the answer right answer is choosing which is two we want to have five if not we have, we have zero and then we sum up this calculation and this calculation here using the data column names which we got from this from our setting here okay now after getting summing everything up here we want to ask another question again okay we want to say if this summing up here if open a bracket and then we create our bracket i told you that we'll be using this a lot dollar sign and curry bracket so we want to see whatever is summing up here okay we we choose because this is what we'll be refer this is what we'll be referring to that question this data column name whatever is summing up in this data column name here okay we are saying that if whatever is summing up here is less than 10 comma column open we want to have failed the person should fail okay because normally the person will have the person needs to have more than five okay if it is less than five let's just say less than five remember one answer is five marks okay five less than five you mean if the person has no sorry we want it to be ten instead because we want the person to have all the answers okay if not the person should pass And remember that when you are doing coding um especially working with sql or other languages even excel each time you're using text or string or text like this you have to put it in quotes okay 
So it's something that you should learn. It's common in, in, in programming. Okay, here now we have given this and we want it to be calculating. We choose calculate again. Okay, we have come here and said if whatever is summing up here, this question, which is referred to, which we have which we have taken the data column name to be calculation underscore zero zero two here is less than ten. We want to get the person to fail. If not, we want to get the person to pass. Okay. So, so right now, after we must have done all this, we come here now. We want to be having our result down here. So all we need to do is come again with do dollar sign curly bracket open, and then we come and take this data column name again. You see that we are just summarizing data column names, taking it down and down and down, just summarizing. It's like you're building a tree of something, you know. Yes, and then we close our curly bracket. But here now we are not going to put calculate. We are going to put not because we want to be seen the result down here okay we've said that if it is less than 10 the person should fail if it's other way around the patient should pass and less than 10 or above 10 here is summing up all this which we have summing up sum it down here and when we sum it down here we took this and gave a condition and then this condition also has been we want this condition to be generating down here so let's review this form and see how it looks Now, you see that when we preview, preview our form, um, it's already showing failed, okay? Now, we said if it is less than 10, we should see fail. So if I click what are some data analysis tool and I click Excel, remember we said Excel, if it is equals to 1, which is Excel, we should have 5 marks, okay? And if it is equals to Cutlass, which is 2, which also represent 5 marks, then we should have 10, okay? So if I click this, you see? The person has passed. It shows that the person has passed. If I click Power BI, which is the wrong answer, the person fails. If I click Cocoyam, which is the wrong answer, the person fails. Okay, because our pay, our um, questions, we give an instruction using the if statement that until it is above ten. Okay, let's go again and I show you something here. If we come again here, we come again to this question and we say, okay, if it is below five. Five. Now you see that if we go back and we choose one of those answers, we are going to have pass mark. Okay, let me preview again. You see now, good. So it's showing fail. So if I choose cutlass here, you see pass mark. Okay, if I choose power BI, which is the wrong answer, I failed. If I choose Excel, pass mark. Because they have said if it is below five okay we should have fee if not we should have pass okay so so these are some of the ways um that you you engage your kobo um toolbox in setting quiz you can also set quiz for um students you can also set quiz for for um, um whoever you are engaging with and this is very important that you learn especially when it comes to kobo toolbox Thank you very much and stay blessed. Uh, these are the tools I use for data analysis and I'm also teaching you for you to grab some of these tools and let's move um, development forward in a different context. Stay blessed.